Hi, I hope everybody is doing great or whatever, whoever watches this. Um, I'm coming today to talk to you about what credit is. Um, from your 18s, like once you hit 18, you know, this is like good stuff to know and I feel like it's not talked about enough and it's very important when it comes to trying to get a car, trying to get a house, just trying to get anything once you're an adult. So the first thing is, what is credit? Credit is um, when you pay on something on time, like monthly. Like you could either use a credit card or you could be paying on a loan with your debit card, which also forms credit. There is such thing as a good credit, bad credit, and no credit. No credit is when, you know, you may have a debit card, but, you know, you just pay out of pocket. Um, bad credit is when you just don't make payments on time and good credit is when your credit's on fleek you pay on time um something that people don't know is that i mean your credit's gonna kind of start off as bad um for instance i was paying on a loan for like three months and it was like my score was like considered bad but in my case, it was actually good because I was just establishing credit. It usually takes three months for them to establish credit for you. And some things that you pay on um, weigh heavier on you than, say, another. For instance, um, a loan, me paying on the loan, has really jumped my credit score. And if I would have um, just did something like paying on like a credit card, it wouldn't make it go up as high. Also, when you do get good credit, it's harder to go higher. Like say you were at 800, it's harder to get up there and it, than if you were like in the 600s. And it's also really easy that if you miss a payment, your credit can just jump down if you're really up there. But if you're like already in the bad or the fair, you know, it could just go a little lower. Um, ways to build credit are student loans but if you don't have that a credit card you don't need multiple credit cards you really just need to find one that is like a multi-purpose if you decide later on that you want one here at this store or that store that's fine but it's better to just have one because there's such thing as hard credit checks and soft credit checks hard credit checks means it's gonna take points it could take 10 to like 50 um, Points in a hard credit check is like when you're trying to get a credit card. So you don't need to be applying to like credit card after credit card because you're going to jump your score so low. Soft credit um, checks are like you getting on, say, Credit Karma and checking your score. That's not going to hurt your score. And you shouldn't look at it like every five seconds. Maybe once a month or maybe once a week is good. Um... <clears throat> The next thing is, I forgot, it was another point that I had. Oh, if you don't get um, approved the first time for a credit card, there's usually a, there's usually a backdoor number if you look online not really supposed to be telling about this but there's usually like a backdoor number where you can call a credit analyst if you didn't get um picked right off the back and talk to them tell them your game plan um and also you can get things financed to build your credit there are like different many ways to build credit and um one tip that i have is don't bite off more than you can chew. Start paying on one thing and don't make your expenses too high out of your means. Honestly, your expenses, if you're in college and have a job, you should try not to go above 200 because then you're biting off more than you can chew and then don't you want like extra money on the side, right, to like shop? So you can still build credit and um, you can you know, still not be broke. And then also when it comes to getting cars, I'm kind of going everywhere with this, but when you're trying to get a car, when you're trying to get a car, they like to see like if they're going to approve you. Um, they like to see if you've been on a job for six months and, um, 
how your credit is also determines how much your car is going to cost. I'm trying to let all y'all know this because it hit me like a brick, not knowing, like, I didn't have zero credit, and now I have some credit, and now I'm trying to build, so that way, in the next few months or so, I can get a car. Um, if you have any more questions about credit, just leave them in the comments below. I hope this was helpful, and I hope all of y'all having a blessed day. Um, this is Zarissa, by the way. Bye!